We installed a uh, ground heat pump, which most people call a geothermal unit, in our house about five years ago. It's been working great, keeps our house cool and comfortable. It's a um, water furnace system in the unit, and uh, we put in two vertical holes in our front yard. Roughly between the trees and the house. We're pretty much standing on top of them right now. It was pretty messy, uh, but it wasn't too difficult. So it went about, uh, the install took about four or five days. Um, and they worked hard on it from beginning to end. You know, there's no interruption in work and got it done quick. I think if you're doing new construction, you'd be crazy not to uh, give this serious consideration. It usually depends on when you can start the planting, so it depends on the time of year. Um, we were fortunate because we planned our install in September, because um, you're out of uh, heating and air conditioning for a few days while they're doing the install. They rip out the old unit, um, so we didn't need to be we didn't need heating or air conditioning during the install, um, but that meant we kind of had to plant everything the next uh, early spring. So I would say it took a full year for everything to grow in because we started from bare earth. Where we were standing before in the middle of our front yard, um, they had to trench through where we see the uh, pink flowers now, through the brick walkway now, and the trench came all the way here to the garage. And uh, this is where the pipes came up out of the ground and they take a sharp right turn into the garage from here. And uh, my husband uh, made a little box on the outside. He covered in some siding that we had left over from the, uh, from the siding installation and he put spray foam inside. So that's the only part that you see on the outside of the house. So here we are on the exact opposite side of the, of the outside wall. The pipes come through the wall of the garage they take another sharp turn, they go up, straight up the wall, they go across the ceiling and directly into the unit from here. And right now they happen to be covered with some pipe insulation, which my husband did as well. Uh, before we had a uh, traditional gas furnace and on the outside of the house we had the uh, traditional um, regular air conditioning unit that used electricity. So this is one unit that provides all the air conditioning and all the heating. It does both, um, using the exact same pumps and the exact same uh, circulating system through the, uh, through the ground loops in the front yard all the way to this unit. This is the water furnace uh, unit. Um, it's supposed to be the, uh, the best unit. I was surprised. Um, another contractor gave me a price to use a different brand unit. It was $5,000 cheaper. Uh, the contractor we ended up going with only worked with water fitters, since it's supposed to be the best in the in the business. This is a little different in that this is in a, in a garage, what we call the furnace closet. Uh, most people would have their unit installed in their basement, wherever their furnace used to be, then that's where the ground heat pump would be installed. Um, we also happen to have a, a colonial style house with uh, two stories and we put in a zoning so that we could heat up to, uh, heat or cool up to four different zones separately. So we can have the uh, Upstairs, not get any air conditioning at all during the summer if we don't go up there and only heat the, uh, the ground level and reverse that at night. We don't need to cool the, uh, the ground floor at night at all in the, during the summer. On the back wall is the pump that circulates the glycol through the lines in the front yard. That circulates the glycol through the lines, through the heat exchanger in the unit, and that's how it actually cools or heats. In addition to that, during the summer, we opted to get the additional water tank. So to the right is our gas hot water heater. Next to it is an electric hot water heater that we're using as sort of a heat exchanger. So before the furnace tries to put heat in the front yard, it preheats the water in this tank, which then goes into our hot water heater. Doesn't get it hot enough to be actual hot water, but of course that boost saves us some gas. This is the uh, Zone 1 thermostat downstairs in the same location that the thermostat was previously. It's wireless, which is good, is bad, doesn't really matter. Um, and there's one upstairs as well. This is a standard thermostat, the kind you would, the exact same kind you would get for a, uh, for a conventional heating and air conditioning system. Uh, this is the uh, concrete pad where our old conventional air uh, air conditioning was uh, was installed and that's completely gone now. Um, it was about 10 feet away from our sunroom so we can now enjoy the outdoors of our sunroom without having to listen to the air conditioner you know fire up and 
you know, annoy us with its squeaky fan. The, the science is, is good and the lines are good. And there was a clear savings because we used to cool the house with electricity and now we cool the house with electricity and ground heat pump. So it was a real obvious savings as far as the air conditioning. And no. But during the, uh, the height of the afternoon when the sun's at its hottest, it has no problems keeping up whatsoever. Sure. Control, you know, how we heat and cool the entire house has been, uh, we, we've, been, we, we've liked that a great deal. And again, it makes sense. Not heating the upstairs when you're only downstairs. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's going to save you money. It's been great. Um, it's kind of exciting doing this new, interesting thing that we kind of felt like we helped the planet and we got a great deal on it. And, you know, it was, it was just a great time and a great opportunity.